He's out with five points in this game. JC takes care of that first free throw. Here's Much JC. to the delight of JJ. Right, and he's, he's become the number one cheerleader now for Baranga Ginebra. In Tal, of course, you remember, he sat out a total of eight games. This, this conference. Oh, uh, but a lane violation is spotted on that second free throw. So as in Tal missed, Jeo Devance was caught the coming into the lane too early, so reshoot on the second free throw. Still a miss coming from Intal. Tenorio now in the front court. Surveys the floor. Trying to do what he does best, but doesn't get this one to go. Well, Barangay in Ebra's free throw shooting has been atrocious in this game, to say the least. Whatever happens in this game, kotob ko may sermon tungkol sa free throw. No? <laughs> As Intal troops to the bench, Willie Miller now back on the floor for the Jin Kings. Devans to Hugnatan at the post. Reynel tries to fake. Baguio with 10 remaining on the 24. 10 Orio for 3. No. Straight into the hands of Villanueva. And a whistle away from play. Tubit is involved in this one. Looks like double foul. Double foul on ah, so it's on Tenorio and Tubid getting entangled after that uh, miss. But Karina, napakaganda ng depensa ng uh, Barangay Never at the post. You notice, si Reyna Hagnato when he had the ball, either side, left to right, he was really hemmed in. Cortez, fancy pass, doesn't work. Baggio, taken away by Wilson, but there's a foul. Barangay Nebra needs to watch those fouls. They're picking up a lot. Still a lot of time left. 6.19 to go. That'll be team foul number four for the Jin Kings. And the third on Cortez. As Mark the Spark checks in for Miller. There come the Alaska Aces. Down by 16 points. Devance. Down low, Hugnatan. Here's Baggio. Devons once again finding Foss with Wilson climbing all over him. Villanueva also in that piece of action. And they made sure that there would be no layup. You know, by the way, Alaska's uh, Cyrus Baggio has been kept quiet here. He had seven out of his ten points in the first quarter, has not scored at all in the second period. In the second half, rather. Parang ganun in game one, no? Where he scored 10 of his 15. Yeah, strong in start. In that first quarter. Strong start, but uh, slow finish. But, well, the game's not over yet. The boss, Sonny Thaw, splits his charities. This is still a 15-point lead for Nebra. That'll be 16 points for Thaw. Enrico. Looking for Tubid. The fearless trying to dance with Devance. Here comes Dubid, bounces it down low, jump hook. Wilson doesn't work. Villanueva against four red shirts secures that board. It's been tough underneath the board. Rico Villanueva earning his minutes here. Kagiwa against Baguio. Asking for a pick. Toss switches on him. They go to Wilson from the outside, drives closer. Double W. Doesn't get it. Ball is out of bounds in favor of Alaska. Here comes the H bomb. Three assists away from a triple double. Now, I don't see Hatfield. We are ever getting a round of applause. He sits down. Mamaril is back in the game and he played defense against Jonathan. With 5 10 remaining, Alaska still down by 15. Not the penalty situation. You're not. This is one situation that can work for them. Alaska with just one team foul here in the fourth. He never already in the penalty. It's just not this kind of day. Joe Devance missing from everywhere here. Well, Alaska missing free throws just as he never is. 
the charities for JDV. Cuts this deficit to 14. Still enough time for the Alaska Aces to close this out, but they need to put together some stops. Gagiwa to Cortez, almost taken away by Tenorio. Cortez bounces it to the left. The spark against Baguio. Going through a Mamaril pick. Seven remaining on the 24. Foul before the shot, says the referee. Baguio is whistled for this one as a timeout is requested by Barangay Nebra. They are up 14, 84, 70. And now for our fixed game moments. And this one involves Coach Tim Cohn and Joe Devance. Coach Tim doing all he can to try and break Joe out of his funk. Pulay na lang to grab his hair. <laughs> but it's a tempting thing. Hindi naman yata sasabunutan. Kine, pasa yata, overhead pass. Yeah. Sabi ni Kia, pray over daw, hindi naman. <laughs> uh, Joe, the man, the man has been one of the best players in this conference, no doubt. Na silence, yes, speaker. Yes, he's been a silent speaker tonight. Hirap nun, ha? Hindi na speaker yan, pag silent. <laughs> na mute. <laughs> 84 to 70, Alaska looking for a stop. Uh, they are down 14, under five minutes remaining in this one. Joe Devance gets that tap. Uh, gets that ball over to Baguio. Open court situation. Baguio leaves it for De La Cruz for the 12 footer. No. What a sorry miss for Alaska. Mamaril secures the board. Would have been big. One of those coulda, woulda, shoulda moments. Hatfield against Devance. Goes to Tubit. Tubit spins against uh, De La Cruz. Oh, yes. gets that basket. Oh, what a shot. Nice spin away. Back to a 16-point spread for Barangay Hinebra. And they hang on and force the rubber match. Everybody's anticipating. Devance will miss. Hatfield board. Cortez in the front court. Takes it strong against Devance. Finishes with a left. Here's that juggernaut. That's Coach Joseph and Chico wanted. Here they go. 18-point lead now for Barangay Hinebra. Under four minutes remaining here. Sonny Thos gets the basket, but it is looking more likely that we will have that do or die. The way things are going, yes. Barangay's got its confidence back. They're running and gunning. Kagiwa launches long two. Oh, yeah. That's a killer. That's a long two, but a killer. So Mark Kagiwa wanting to ensure that Barangay Hinebra will fight, uh, will live to fight on Christmas Day. So uh, if Hinebra hangs on here. It is going to be Barangay Nebra versus Alaska at 5 p.m. on Christmas Day. And then later on, we got to find out if Meralco wins. Uh, they will be playing on the 26th in Antipolo. So, so it's just, just one, game. one game. One game on Christmas Day and another game on the 26th. Yeah, well, if uh, Barangay Nebra hangs on, they play at 5 p.m. Meralco wins later. They get to play on the 26th. Okay. So whatever scenario, it is just one game on Christmas Day. And it'll also be just one game, whatever happens on the 26th, or it could be two games. One, one game paren on the 26th, because they don't want to play back-to-backs. It's Barangay Inebra, under three minutes remaining in this game. Mark Kagiwa over to Hatfield. Outside jumper, doesn't work. Tenorio. Down by 17 points. Outside jumper, Baguio, oh, another air ball coming from Skyros. Well, Baguio has been blanked sufficiently here by the tough defense of uh, Barangay Nebra. By the way, earlier, we, uh, we mentioned that we've been watched by millions of our viewers, PBA fans, including Manny and Norsky Garcia. I just got word that Norsky Garcia, one of our good friends, is celebrating a birthday today. Oh. So happy birthday, Norsky, and hi to Manny. 
Baranga Hinebra turns it over. That's again. As uh, this game, 90-73, and the bench uh, squad, are they on their way back on the floor? Ayan na, no? Mukhang uh, natabi na rin ni Coach Tim Cohn, yung starters niya. Revving up, uh, getting everybody ready for Saturday's showdown. Even Espiritu is on his way to the scorer's table. So how great is this going to be as we hit the two-minute warning, the Dean? Do or die, sudden death this coming Christmas. This, uh, so that, I think, is a super Christmas day treat. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? A do or die. Barangay Nebra in Alaska. Alaska, of course, eliminating Barangay Nebra in the last two conferences in the playoffs. Oh, and boy, and and regalo, is so good. And ang regalo ng PBA, if I heard it uh, correctly earlier, uh -huh. first 1,000 fans na pumila sa Coneta Astrodome. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. Libre ticket sa Gen At. Diba? And here's a steal coming from Rudy Hatfield. Who's done everything in this game? L.A. Tenorio whistled for that foul. That should do it for this game. So Devon's, uh, it's been a sorry day at the office uh, for the game changer here. We come up on the final minute of this game. So even before the much awaited, much anticipated game best of seven semifinals with San Miguel going up against the winner of this series, Saturday Muna, Merantai Knockout, as this last minute is brought to you by Win It to Minute. And now the field goal percentage of Alaska is going down and boy, Paragay Nebra is having fun. Jimbo Aquino now on the floor for the very first time. Binalik na rin yung kanilang rookie. Nakaskor na nga si Aquino, no? In only his first PBA game ever. Intal. Wanting to get his range and time for that showdown. Doesn't get this one. Under half a minute remaining. Barangay Nebra on the verge of tying the series up. In front of this uh, mammoth crowd here at the Big Dome. Ang saya-saya ng mga galamay ng barangay dito. Here we go. Barangay it's going to be a big, yes, a big, big showdown. That will be the rubber match between these two teams. Barangay Nebra will definitely ride on the momentum of this victory. Big question is, makakalaro kaya si Eric Meng at saka si J.J. Heldebrand on Christmas Day? Mga two or day na ganyan. Paboritong paborito ni Eric Meng yan. Let's see if he can get back in action. Final score, Barangay Nebra 94, Alaska 73. And that sets us up for that do or die showdown. It's 94 to 73. It was a Rudy Hatfield almost with a triple double here. 16 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists. Uh, and Sonny Thaw's, uh, his double double effort goes down in flames. 94 76, your final score. Our best player. Well, Rudy Hatfield, definitely. I mean, he epitomized the kind of energy and intensity that Barangay never needed to get this one on the books. And Rudy Hatfield finishing with 16 points. That's a conference high for him. Also grabbing his fair share of uh, rebounds and assists. But a big effort on the part of Rudy Hatfield, and that was infectious. So Meralco will try to do the same, to try and live to fight another day. Barangay Nebra already booked their ticket to Christmas Day. In behalf of Chino Rufino and Kenito Anson, my name is Magu Marjan, thanking everybody for keeping it locked in. Stay tuned for uh, right here on Solar TV as BMEG and Meralco is coming up after Newswatch.